Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will present an object from the museum's permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Please check back each day at 10 a.m. for new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Susan, a docent at the museum, and today I'd like to present The Cellist, a painting by the artist Joseph Rodefer de Camp. I'm inspired by the upcoming May Festival, a Cincinnati tradition since 1873. Zangerfest, song festivals, were a tradition brought to North America by the German immigrants that populated our fair city. Music Hall was built to accommodate the popular event in 1878. While the Zangerbunds, singing groups, got top billing, somebody had to provide the accompaniment. This painting is 28 by 23 inches. The subject is a young woman, but not a girl. How can you tell? The hair gives it away. Girls until about 17 wear their hair down. This appears to be a popular Edwardian hairstyle known as a low pompadour. A proper lady would wear her hair up and covered with a hat if outside the home. I suspect this was a proper young lady. She wears a modest Edwardian blouse with a high neck. Full sleeves that taper at her lower arm are lavish with lace, an expensive item. She's engaged in a leisure activity, leisure being the key word. Most women at this time did not labor outside the home. Her chosen diversion is a cello. The angle it creates directs our view nicely to her face, a face partially hidden in shadow with a contemplative expression. I notice she has no music stand. Perhaps she's concentrating on remembering the work. Is there a teacher present? Might she have an audience? Sunlight illuminates her neck and the wall behind her. The colors are subdued, mostly brown. The artist, Joseph Rodefer de Camp, painted many scenes of everyday life at the turn of the century. Primarily genteel portraits, picturesque landscapes, and young women in well-appointed interiors like this. He frequently painted his own family. Pictured here is his wife Edith, daughter Sally, and infant son Ted. Perhaps the cellist is one of his daughters. He had three. Born and raised in Cincinnati, he would study briefly at the McMicken School of Design before following his teacher, Frank Duvenac, to the Royal Academy of Munich. He was one of a group of artists known as the Duvenac Boys. Eventually settling in Boston, he would become a member of the Boston School, Boston-based artists that focused on figure painting, sometimes called the American Impressionists. Decomp's personal style incorporated sharp details such as the lines of the two chairs with impressionistic brushwork. His brushwork is prominently visible on the sunlit wall. A dark swirl of color perfectly captures the impression of a skirt between the cello and her seat. Color, prominent in so many impressionistic works, is missing here. The comp would adopt tonalism, painting with one overall color. Dark neutral hues dominate some, but not all of his comp compositions. He would support himself as both an artist and teacher until his death in 1923. What leisure activities do you enjoy? Is music one of them? If given a choice, what string instrument would you choose to play? Or would you prefer to join a Songerbund? You can leave your comments in the space below.